would like to tell you of how the Elden Ring was shattered by maidenless asshats. The rune of connectivity was removed from the Earth Tree. Probably by Miyazaki himself or the damn Dung Eater. Alongside it fell the rune of visibility, the rune of damage, and generally the ability to enjoy PvP in this game without wanting to throw your controller through your TV screen. In the dark shadow of patch 1.10, one million virgins watched only waifu's videos and decided to cheat. Only by soul bonding with their horses and pressing buttons for hours could they accomplish the complete destruction of the best game that has been released in 10 years. This is their story. Rick basically lost his sanity fighting invisible demons in the night. If you look closely, you can see their attacks. Little blue flashes. From what I've gathered in my own experimentations with the glitch, walking onto people is not easy. Unfortunately, killing them is even more difficult. I thought to myself for a brief moment, maybe I have a friend. Invaders do not know how to cooperate with each other. Nothing weird happening here. So whenever I see this sort of stuff, I always try to hug the cliff sides or nooks and rocks because like I said, he can't really lock on to you. So you can see him flailing around like an idiot just trying to get one good attack off. Um, and the reason you're able to see him in this clip is because he's got a son. I spend the majority of the time trying to convince the invader to notice that this guy's not taking non-physical damage, but he doesn't care. At least we got the sun, bro. Not generally the type to give up, so when I did the glitch, I was able to be knocked off my horse by Radon's great swords. Really was hoping it was gonna work this time. But as you can see the weird pulsing on the guy riding torrent, he's also done the hollow ground golden epitaph crimson world bubble tier crap. excited for just a brief moment and I'm gonna get this ass hat but no because the crimson world bubble tier affects all non-physical damage 
that includes poise damage. So instead of knocking him off of his horse, I healed him. Now I do have a lot of fun just standing in the lee of the rock here where he can't lock onto me again and can't hit me. But this damn blue has no idea who to help. You could see it just there. He was healed by the poise damage that would have knocked him off his horse normally. <laughs> Better try something else. That seems like it's probably going to be one of the more effective ways to kill somebody from horseback when you can't lock on to them. Or when they're smart enough to stand next to a rock so that you can just chip away at nothing. Now I have my own Crimson Whirl on for a brief second, but uh, that doesn't help. Thanks, Blue. I hope you have the voice of Caboose. Pucker did it. No matter how many times there are two of us, I cannot signal the invader to work with me. In this particular case, I think we could have got the invisible horse rider if we could have just lured him closer to the church and uh, done enough physical damage to him. He can't hit us very well from horseback if we were standing in the hallway of the Church of Ella. But no one listens to me. I'll let you enjoy the show from here. Feel free to like and subscribe. And, you know, write a personal letter to Miyazaki. Fix this shit.